Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll show you how you can create a geometric shape intro inside of DaVinci Resolve. So this is the footage that I'll be using for this project. I'm just going to drag it onto the timeline and then I'm going to click on the fusion to go to the fusion page. Now let's disconnect this up. And the first thing we will do is we want to create a triangle shape. You can create any kind of shape. If you want to create a simple shape, you can just simply use the rectangle tool. If I just connect this up and view this media in, you can see that our video is now inside this rectangle shape. You can also use the ellipse tool. You can click on that, connect this up and uh, you can see that now it's the video is inside this shape. But I'm going to use the S star node to create my triangle shape. So shift spacebar and type in S star and click on add. And this will give you the S star node. If you view this, you, will, you won't be able to see anything. And that is because we need another node to view this, which is the S render node. Click on add. And now if you view the S render node, you will be able to see this shape inside. So let's go back to our start node over here. And on the right side in the inspector, we have the settings over here. I'm going to change the point and I'm going to set the points to three so that we have a triangle. And on the angle, I'm going to set this to negative 90 so that it is facing downward. And we have different settings that you can, you know, tweak around with. We can change the depth and all that stuff. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to link width with the height. I'm going to right click on width, click on expression and just connect it up with the height. Now you can use the height slider to control the width and the height. Uh, you can also right click in the viewer and set the guides to show guides. That will help you to align things in the center. Now you can link this S render node with media in one. And now if you view the media in one, you will see that your footage will be masked inside the shape. Now there are tons of settings that you can go inside the S star. For example, you can instead of solid, you can set this to a stroke and you can also change the border style and you can animate the stroke as well uh, using this slider over here, the length slider. So once you have that, then what we can do is I'm going to create another copy of this media in one. I'm going to copy it and paste it. So we have the same node. We can connect these two up together. This will result in this merge node. And if we view this on the right side, this is how it is going to look. You won't be able to see any difference, but if we change some settings, like for example, the size, you can see we have that uh, triangle part inside this footage and we have the background footage as well. So if you play this, uh, this is how it is going to look. Now you can do all sorts of stuff on this, uh, on this merge node. You can invert this and uh, you can, you know, play with the size, try to align it in the center. Uh, you can you know enable the guides on this one as well let's go to the single view mode over here so that we can see it properly and you can see we have this nice abstract geometric shape going on and as i said you can go to star and you know create any sort of shape with this and you can go to depth and you know change the look of of your shape so maybe we set the depth to one now we have a hexagon i'm going to go to merge and reset everything so i'm going to click on this icon that says reset so everything is back to the default value i'm going to simply go to the very first frame create a keyframe on size let's go to 100 frame uh, that's completely up to you which frame you want to create a keyframe i want this animation to be uh, really smooth kind of cinematic so i'm going to set this to 100 and i can just simply increase the size so i'm going to set this to around one point let's go with yeah 1.25 that looks fine and there we have it then on this merge one what we can do is let's add another node which is drop shadow let's click on add this will really you know separate it from the background so we can go to the very first frame and set the drop distance to zero we can keyframe the shadow strength. So let's do that. I'm going to go to the very first frame, create a keyframe on shadow strength, set that to zero and go to the 100th frame where our keyframe is and increase it to the maximum value on the slider, which is one. And then we can also increase the blur amount and set that to one as well. So now if you play the animation, you can see that we have this nice animation going on where you can see this shape coming out and your footage inside that shape as well right that it is looking absolutely fine now the next thing we can do is we can add some text to this so that we can create our entire cinematic look so let's um, type in our text i'm going to type in shots let's view this merge node 
and I'm going to change the font. Uh, I'm going to leave that to open sans and change that to light font weight. I'm going to increase the font size and the tracking amount like that. So that looks kind of cinematic and you can even keyframe the tracking amount if you want or the opacity inside the follower. You can watch my previous videos on this topic. I guess that's all you have to do and you can just, you know, simply connect it with media out with this and this is your entire animation. So yeah, that is just about it. I hope this video will be useful to you in your projects. If this video is helpful, then make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.